Hello and welcome to a quick unboxing of the Spectrum SPM 4649T serial telemetry receiver. So I'm super duper excited about this one since it's the first small size receiver that features both uh, a fast protocol and telemetry out of the box. So at least for Spectrum. And the coolest thing about this one is it features the serial, serial telemetry via one vi wire that is shared with the um, signal wire. So what that means is you can hook it up to the race flight revolt with three wires, five volts, ground and signal telemetry and it will work with both the RC link going in one direction and the tele telemetry information like for now it's mostly voltage but you can have, um, Miguel showed that you can have a pit um, screen on your transmitter and the FC is sending text to the like DX8 or DX9 and um, then you can make changes to it and that's in my opinion really really cool. I know Taranis uh, had some um, telemetry information for quite some time but this is in that next level shit. Yeah, sorry. That's really, I'm super excited. I mean you probably can tell. Yeah, so that's actually pretty nice. It's really small. I've seen uh, Miguel designed a 3 d print case for that. I have to say, I, I'm surprised it's that small, actually. That's really cool. Oh yeah, and I need to uh, unbox that as well, because I have to show you one more thing. Maybe I can get it packed together later again, but... Uh, come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah. So, one thing I really love, this connector. You can replace antennas. I'm one of those guys, um, I build a quad, don't place the antennas right and go fly and cut them and then I have to replace them and I do this like three times and then I think, oh I should place them better. Um, those pins here, you can just desolder this connector, these are the pads here, and then use those three to use a normal server connector and mount it directly on the flight controller. And that's like super cool. I like uh, getting rid of wires and just stacking stuff onto each other. And that's really cool. Okay, did I miss anything? Yeah, let's get some measurements going here. Is it right? Like this. Okay. So how wide is it? It is 16.01 millimeter wide and with the connector it's 29.8 with the other connector it's 29.77 and without any connectors it would be 28.64. Let's check height. I see a cap there. I guess that's the highest point. That would be like eyeballing it. Yeah, 6.21 millimeters and with only the cap and all connectors gone, it'd be like this, that's 4.92 millimeters. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's check the weight. 2.21 grams. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, yeah, and uh, for binding, you have to use uh, this plug here, and you can use a normal bind plug, or you can bind through Racefly One if you want to, and the BB should work as well. Okay, so much for the unboxing. I'm super excited about this receiver, and I think this is without excavating, uh, ext excavating. Um, a really big deal for Spectrum since this is what the 
quadcopter market needs and it now got it with even more than we had hoped for yeah on another spectrum i know hate me thanks for watching see you in the next video over and out